Alright, this is a Gorman Roop, or Gorman Rup, however some people say it. It's a model right here. Model 80. Now, just want to go over a couple things. When you're actually separating this from the housing, which is on the other side. So I can turn it around. Okay. What I was doing, a lot of people make the same mistake. I was prying it from here. Okay? You actually want to pry it from here. So this is going to go on here. Here are the seals. You should probably, if you're going to take everything apart, be replacing the seals. Another thing you want to replace is the impeller and the wear plate. Look at the difference in thickness. Okay. Also the impeller. Here's the newer impeller. The older one. Again, look at the thickness. Okay. One of the other things you want to do is this is very rusty. You want to take some sandpaper, you want to sand here, and you want to sand the inside. And what happens is the impeller rubs against here, so you don't want, you want just enough clearance without it touching. Another trick is, if you don't have shims, you can make them out of a Coca-Cola can or a Pepsi can. It's aluminum, so it won't rust. You put it in here, give yourself some shims, make sure when you put it back together, new seals, like I said, new seals. Um, the oil level, you want it about half, okay? So right about half. You don't want to over lubricate, you don't want to under lubricate. And uh, this is the purge. Put the oil in just in case it builds up too much pressure, it purge out. And make sure you, that's about it. Um, I probably should have got a new spring. I did not. You can see it in there, a little rusty, a little worn out, but uh, it'll, it'll do. Okay, so again, the most important thing, when you're prying this from the casing, pry from here, not from here. And just be very careful. If you're going to be using a screwdriver, you don't want to mar the edges. You can see I really didn't do that. Okay, any questions, put a comment down below, I'll help you.